Hello, hello, hello. It's Kyle Van Voorst with Voorst.com. And today I'm going to share with you how to make sure that you have enough leads to support your sales team when they're doing their outreach. Let's dive right in. Oftentimes what I find is when you're first starting to do outreach, or even if you've been doing outreach for a long time and you're looking to scale the team up, what we run into is not enough leads to actually support the outreach efforts we're planning. So often I'll see somebody say, oh, I'm gonna hire six SDRs, we're gonna all be calling you know, 100 calls every single day, blah, 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 and I'll do the math real quick, and they don't even have enough leads to support six SDRs. And what would happen is they would hire all those people, those people would have nothing to really work on because there's not enough leads to go around. So this hurts your sales culture because people aren't gonna be hitting the number that they thought they were gonna be able to hit, and it has nothing to do with their efforts, it has everything to do with your preparedness. And I don't want you to fall into that trap. So I'm going to share with you a model that we use to help figure out exactly how many leads we need to support the team we plan on building. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out and lets us know we should keep making this type of stuff. So if you look in the description below, there'll be a link so you can download this model that I'm about to share with you and follow along. Let's jump right in. Alrighty, this is it. This is the list yield model. What we're going to do here is we're going to figure out exactly how many companies and how many contacts we need to support the outreach that we are trying to do. And that outreach is going to be calculated based on the revenue target we are setting for that team. So let's say our revenue target is $2 million and our average contract value is 45000 Okay. The next question here that we need to fill out are how many contacts per account on average. So if you're targeting larger organizations, you might have five, seven, even 10 contacts you could possibly reach out to. For this example, let's use three. Now, next we have activities per contact, and this is an average. So on average, how many activities are you expecting after whatever period it would take to hit your $2 million revenue target. So let's say this is an annual revenue target of $2 million. What's the average amount of activities per contact you would expect? So if you want your reps focusing a lot on trying to contact a few amount of contacts, then this would actually be higher, right? You'd say, hey, I expect an average activities per contact to be around 20. If you'd rather your SDRs or AEs, whoever's doing the prospecting, if you'd rather them be targeting more companies and do less touches on the contacts on average, then this might be closer to five or 10. For this example, I'm gonna use 15, because I think if you reach out to someone 15 times between phone and email and you still haven't gotten a hold of them, that's probably a good time to consider moving on to the next one. But I will say, I've seen this as high as 50, even to 100, it just depends on your market. If you have any questions around this, go ahead and put a comment down below and I'll get back to as many as I can. Okay, activity to demo percentage. So out of every 100 calls or 100 activities, calls, emails, LinkedIn, how many meetings are you booking? So if that's one meeting per 100 activities, that's 1%. If that's half a meeting, for every 100 activities, then that would be 0.5%. For this example, I'm actually gonna use 0.5%. This is the floor of what I use when I model. Typically, I see this number anywhere above 0.6% all the way up until four to 4%, depending on the market that they're targeting. The way you would figure this out is just look at how many activities your team has currently done and how many meetings that they've booked, and you divide the amount of meetings that they booked by the amount of activities that they've done. If you don't know for you, the general rule of thumb is the SMB space, you'll see this closer to one or 2%. And as you move up market into the enterprise, it'll get as low as 0.5%. So there you go. I'm going to use 0.5% for this. Just show rate, I would expect in this kind of market where it's larger deal sizes to have a high show rate of 80%. In the SMB space, you sometimes see show rates as low as 60% or even 50%. That's not good, but that's what I've seen. Um, and then in the upper mid market and stuff, you usually see 80, 90%. Qualified right here. So this is them showing up to the appointment and them actually qualifying as somebody who could purchase your product or service. This percent here, I'll put it close to, to the same around 80%. I think that's fair. And then brief reminder here that show rate is a, a, an appointment was booked and they actually showed up to the appointment. 
Now, finally, we have the close rate. So what percentage of those qualified meetings that took place end up purchasing the product or service? Let's say it's a 20% here. All right, so what we're seeing is based on these numbers here, we need 4,630 companies with a total of 13,889 contacts in order to achieve that $2 million revenue target. So this would be how many contacts you'd have to have in order to hit the revenue target. Pretty simple. And when you go to your data provider, you have to make sure that you can find 4 1,630 strong companies that look like they could be a fit for your product or service and working at those companies, 13,889 contacts. So I would round these up. We have 5,000 companies we need with 14,000 contact. This is what you need to support your team's outreach. Now you know. So when you go to your, your data provider, you can make sure that they have enough to support the revenue target you're trying to achieve. And that's it. It's a really simple model to give you clarity around what you need to hit specific revenue targets. This small, simple step will save you hours, days, months, years of poor performance due to lack of leads to support that team. It's so common to be light on leads because you overhire and you don't realize the amount of market you need to support the outreach efforts that you're doing. Don't fall into that trap. Spend a little time doing some math. Make sure that you have what you need in order to support the reps that you're bringing on. For more data-driven sales content, check out this video here.